Hey everybody, Movie Fan Z here. So, the movie I'm going to be reviewing for you is the 2022 action thriller directed by Michael Bay, and that is Ambulance. So, in this movie, you are introduced to Danny Sharp, who is played by Jake Gyllenhaal, and Will Sharp, played by Yahya Abdul-Mateen II. And basically, they rob a bank in order to help Will with his family, and in order to evade capture, they steal a an, they steal an ambulance with a wounded cop and a paramedic inside and the paramedic is uh Cam Thompson played by Aiza Gonzalez so if you don't know who I uh who Yahya Abdul Mateen the second is he was Manta in the first Aquaman movie he was the lead in Candyman the one that just came out. And he was Morpheus in the new Matrix Resurrections movie. So, going into this, I wasn't quite sure about it. But I was able to find it on Peacock. So the reason I wasn't quite sure about it is because... I had seen the trailer and I was a little disappointed because it seems like they gave you the entire movie in the trailer. Which I've heard, it must be a bad movie if they give you the entire plot, basically. And I'm so glad that I was actually able to watch it. For the simple fact of, it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. There's You get to learn more about backstories and... There's more intensity and thrills. And as far as like... Oh, and I also forgot to mention that... Hold on, let me get the name up. You also have Garrett Dillon Hunt, who plays Captain Monroe, who's like the leader of the LAPD trying to capture the two men. So as far as scores go, though, uh, the lowest score we have is a 6.1, and that's on IMDb. Oh, correct that. You have a 55 on Metacritic. You also have a 69 on Rotten Tomatoes, which is the critic score, and an 88, which is the audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. So not bad scores. Now let's get into thumbs up and thumbs down. There's only two thumbs down that I really have. The first one is that I think the movie's a little long. I feel like you could have probably shaved off 20 to 30 minutes and still gotten the same effect. The other thing is, and I've kind of relaxed on this a little bit, is that it's your typical, it's kind of your typical story of bank robbers evading capture but this time, it's just like, you get the added bonus of just being in the ambulance for most of it, and interacting with the paramedic and the wounded cop, so just all of that. Now, as far as thumbs up, I liked the intensity, I liked the camera shots, I mean, because it was kind of interesting... He, Michael Bay, did, uh, directed this movie, and he did so many different camera shots from, like, overhead or in front of the ambulance at the side. It's just, like, a lot of different ones that kind of were different. And the biggest thing was the acting. I liked all the main three. And Jake John Hall's interesting for me in a good way. He's not in my top 10 actors, but he might move into there because I've not seen everything that he's been in, but I've enjoyed, of the movies that I have seen him in, I've really enjoyed his performances. And 
this is another great performance by him. So overall, I'm going to go pretty big. I'm going to give this a four point uh, four out of five. That's pretty big. So again, this is my review for 2022's Ambulance, directed by Michael Bay. Come back next time for another review. It's Movie Fan Z signing off. Have a good night.